Alright, hey guys, Gandalf the Grey here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you get Steam Overlay for Minecraft. Um, this is pretty nifty, gives you a little um, thing so you can chat with your friends. It's kind of bugged, but it still works semi-good. It's pretty nice anyways. So, what you want to do is go here, want to add a game, go to add a non-Steam game, and most of you would think that you would just... Um, you just add it like that, and that's all good, but it's not. So you click play like you would think, and it shows that you're in a game, but then it goes away. And it still loads up Minecraft. And then even when you log in, and you um, try to do stuff, it won't work. Um, for some reason it enters the file, the shortcut thing, but then it just goes away. I to do shift click, nothing happens. So, what you need is to do something a bit more complicated, but it's still pretty simple. You, s you just want to keep this here temporarily. So, you go to add a non Steam game, and you go to browse, and then you want to go to your C drive, your hard drive. And at this point, you need to determine which version of Java you have 64 bit or 32 bit. If you have 64, you'll go to Program Files here. 32-bit, you'll go to pro Program Files uh, times 86, which stands for 32-bit right there. Note, if you have a 32-bit machine, you'll only have this Program Files times 86 here. You will not have this Program Files right here. If you have 64-bit like me, you'll have both. So, um, just because I think most of you will probably have... 64 bit. I'm just going to show it with that. So you go to program files there, scroll down to Java, and then you'll choose GRE 7, or if you have like an old version of Java like 6, you'll choose, it will be a GRE 6 right there. But um, so I have 7, so I'll choose that. And then go to bin, then you scroll down and you will find Java right there. So just double click that and add it. And then you just add selected programs right there. Um, now you can just do this multi two in one step, but it doesn't matter. All right. So next, what you want to do is go to properties right there, and you want to um, well first you want to go over to properties for Minecraft here. You want to copy this right there, um, and then you'll go to this one which I have open right there. And then you'll do or the uh, line thing, hyphen, whatever it's called. And then you'll put jar right there, and then you'll paste that in with the quotes. Um, and then you can just change the name from this to Minecraft. And then you can choose your logo. Um, so I'll just go down here to my Minecraft. And then you just double click that and it'll show that little thing because it's a um it because it's a Minecraft because it's a shortcut. And you'll have to change the name again. For some reason it it switches back to Java. Hmm. Okay. So apparently I guess you have to add the um icon first. So change the icon first, then edit the stuff, and it'll be all fine. Then you just go to close right there, and now you just click play. And as you can see, it works perfect. Um, you can go to login, and it will still have you online right there. Just wait for this thing to load. It will take a bit longer. Um, you can see there you have it. It will take a bit longer because it um, has to load. Does it just load Steam and stuff? And you can do Shift Tab like you want. Um, the only problem with this is if you try to chat with a friend, like say, um, try to chat with this guy. Hey, right there. Um, and if you're in game, like here, I'm just gonna go on the server right there. Okay, now if you try to chat, it won't show up if you're in-game, it, because it uses these keys for Minecraft, 
so you have to be out of the game to do it. Um, but it will still show you updates and stuff, so that's nice. But um, it just won't count it. Um, you just can't chat and stuff from there. Alright, so then you have to click click here to return to game. Um, Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is Gandalf the Grey, and I bid you all farewell.